the best hacking products. Hackers Tools on Amazon. Get the best tools and products for hacking. The tools in this video are perfect for anyone who wants to learn how to hack. Number 14. Promark 3 NFC RFID Card Reader If you have a Promark 3, you have the most powerful and complete RFID NFC testing device for 125 kHz, 134 kHz, and 13.56 MHz frequencies. This device can copy the information from RFID and NFC cards. The blank cards that come with this package can be used to make new copies. We can buy blank cards from Amazon if we need more. So it's not a bad idea to put some more money into it to make it better. To improve the range of LF and HF, we need antennas with a longer reach. Another new and useful upgrade for it is the Blue Shark Bluetooth 2.0 upgrade, which lets you control the Promark 3 wirelessly and add an external battery to turn it into a self-sufficient device that you can connect to your computer or smartphone and control. The Walrus NFC app has been updated to let you control it with Bluetooth. It also solves the problem of high temperatures by adding a metal cooler. Number 13. RTL SDR The RTL SDR is a low-cost, software-defined radio that uses an RTL 2832U-based DVB-T TV tuner dongle. It has the ability to pick up radio waves. We can use it to hear what other people are talking about. It can also listen in on and read SMS and GSM phone calls. It's very helpful for people who work in cybersecurity. Number 12. Microcontrollers Different kinds of microcontrollers are used by ethical hackers. Some of them are important for an ethical hacker to have in his or her backpack. The ESP8266 is a $6 Wi-Fi development board that can be used in many ways, including making our own Wi-Fi deauthor. It can also make phishing pages that can be sent over Wi-Fi. Ethical hackers will find this tiny microcontroller to be a great choice. Home is where we could make our own USB rubber ducky. The Arduino Pro Micro is a great product that doesn't cost very much. But if we want to change the script, we have to reset it and upload a new script from our computer. Number 11. Adafruit Blue Fruit LE Sniffer a special firmware image has been put on the Adafruit Bluefruit LE friend, which turns it into a simple Bluetooth low-energy sniffer. We can passively capture data exchanges between two Bluetooth low-energy devices and send it to Wireshark, an open-source network analysis tool, where we can see things on a packet level and use useful descriptors to make sense of the values without having to open the 2,000-page Bluetooth 4.0 core specification every time. Number 10. Hardware Keylogger A hardware keylogger can be put in the space between the USB keyboard and the computer. It keeps track of every keystroke on the keyboard, making it an essential tool for any cybersecurity expert. This is a simple keylogger made of hardware. It can hold up to 16 megabytes of information. Most of the time, this is enough to record keystrokes for a year. Then we can take it out and plug it into our computer so we can see what keys were pressed. Some keyloggers can be controlled by Wi-Fi or text message. It can't be found by any software. Number 9. Bad USB It's a great replacement for the USB rubber ducky. This device has custom hardware that's built around the Atmega 32U4 and ESP12S. This device uses Wi-Fi to send keystrokes to a target computer. The target sees the ducky as both a standard HID keyboard and a serial port. This means that interactive commands and scripts can be run on the target from a distance. Attackers can easily move it around as a thumb drive and plug it into any PC to add payload and run their own commands. It can also be controlled over Wi-Fi. It looks like a regular USB thumb drive, which is a big plus, but it doesn't work as quickly as the USB rubber ducky. Number 8. USB Killer Since USB gets its power from the computer and can't send more voltage, Computers don't check how much current's going through it. But what if we use this to burn our whole system? Using this on other people is against the law. When plugged into a device, the USB killer quickly charges its capacitors from the USB power lines. When the device is charged, negative 200 volt DC is sent through the data lines of the host device. This charge-discharge cycle will keep happening many times per second until the USB killer is taken away, so the target device is burned and can no longer be fixed. Number 7. Wi-Fi Deauthor Watch 
As the name suggests, it's a deauthor. It stops Wi-Fi users from being able to log in and disconnects them. It does not jam. The ASP8266 Wi-Fi development board is used to make this happen. It looks like a watch version would be a very cool tool for any hacker. A jammer just makes noise on a certain frequency range, like 2.4 GHz. A deauthentication attack, on the other hand, is only possible because of a flaw in the Wi-Fi standard 802.11. The deauthor doesn't mess with any frequencies, instead it sends a few Wi-Fi packets that tell some devices to disconnect. This lets us hit each target in a very specific way. A jammer just blocks all signals within a certain range, so it's very illegal to use one. Number 6. Ubertooth 1 the most well-known Bluetooth hacking tool is Ubertooth One. It's an open-source 2.4 GHz wireless development platform that can be used to hack Bluetooth. Commercial Bluetooth monitoring equipment can easily cost more than $10,000, so the Ubertooth was made as a low-cost alternative platform for monitoring and developing new BT, BLE, and similar wireless technologies. Ubertooth One is mainly meant to be an advanced Bluetooth receiver. It has more features than regular adapters, so it can be used as a platform for sniffing and monitoring BT signals. Number 5. HackRF1 What a bunch of gadgets! HackRF1 is a software-defined radio or SDR accessory that can send and receive radio signals between 1 MHz and 6 GHz, made so that modern and next-generation radio technologies can be tested and worked on. We can read and change radio frequencies with this tool. HackRF1 is a piece of open-source hardware that can work as a USB peripheral or on its own. This SDR is better than other low-cost options in one important way. The radio frequency RF quality, on the other hand, is not as good as expected. Number 4. Wi-Fi Pineapple The Wi-Fi Pineapple was the first tool to attack Wi-Fi networks. It was made by Hack5. You can choose from three different models of Hack5. All of them are good, but the Mark 7 model was the best value for the money. This will save the results of audits of Wi-Fi networks that are done automatically. We can control it with a great interface on the web. This is a great product for testing the security of wireless networks. Number 3. USB Rubber Ducky The USB Rubber Ducky was made and developed by Hack5. The HID specification, or human interface device, is everywhere because almost every computer has a keyboard that people can use to enter data. Keyboards tell computers that they are HID devices, so computers automatically recognize and accept them. The USB rubber ducky sends out powerful payloads in seconds by taking advantage of the target computer's natural trust while pretending to be a normal USB drive. In other words, if we plug it into a computer, the computer will recognize it as a keyboard and inject, type, save, and run our pre-programmed payload. This device can carry a wide range of payloads. We can also write our own code with ease. One of the easiest ways to break into a system is to get physical access to it. Number 2. Raspberry Pi Zero W This is a small handheld computer that's perfect for carrying the best penetration testing software tools and all external hardware hacking tools. The best known cybersecurity distros for it are PwnP1 Aloha and Kali Linux. PwnP1 is a USB attack platform that can be set up in many different ways. It's built around the inexpensive Raspberry Pi Zero or Raspberry Pi Zero W. PwnP1's successor is PwnP1 Aloha. We recommend the USB Type-A Pongo Pin adapter shown above. We can also use it without a head, without a monitor. This device is hooked up to a power bank in our bag and we can use our handheld mobile device to control it using VNC. Number 1. Raspberry Pi 4 Raspberry Pi is the most popular single board computer on the market. Almost all people who work in security use this device. This is very helpful because we can put the whole Kali Linux distribution on this computer about the size of a credit card. Raspberry Pi can be used in many other projects as well. It's used in many ways by people who work in cybersecurity. In the fifth episode of the first season of Mr. Robot, Elliot hacks into the network that controls the temperature in order to destroy magnetic tapes. For a good hacker, the Raspberry Pi can be used for anything. Anyone who works in information security or programming needs to have this tool. Thank you so much for watching this video.